Hello, I just wanted to do a quick video for my subscribers and let you guys know what we're up to. Um, in the recent videos I've been showing the uh, the split cell I have here. This is a hydro tube split cell. It uses a commercial style membrane and does a really good job of splitting hydrogen and oxygen. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how it's purified and how we can get ready to store it as a compressed gas. One of the big problems with um, this type of setup is the membranes are porous and because they're porous, if we have different pressures between the tanks, um, we can have a breach where oxygen will pass over to the hydrogen side and we all know that we can't compress hydrogen with oxygen in it um, unless you want to die. It's very dangerous. So what we come up with is a couple, instead of having the clear tanks that I am usually use, I've got a couple of uh, tall tanks and you can see they're really tall. They're probably, they are about five and a half foot each. And here you can see that right now the oxygen side, which is this right tank, you can see the water level is a lot higher than the hydrogen side. Water level is down here. Let's see, it's slowly going down. That's because there's more pressure in this tank and less pressure in this tank. The reason for that is we're uh, compressing it on the hydrogen side, so there's going to be more pressure here and then not, there's not going to be any pressure really on the oxygen side. Two tanks are joined at the bottom. Hydrogen enters in above the joint here. Oxygen en enters in above that joint there. and water comes out the bottom of the tanks back into the cell. Uh, being powered by one of my PWMs running at, right now we're running at 22, 22 amps, 14 volts. Okay so out of the, let's do the oxygen side first. Out of the oxygen side I just have a tube comes down to a needle valve. You can adjust this needle valve uh, to put more pressure on the oxygen side. Out of the hydrogen side up there, go down this semi-clear tube and into our bubbler. You can see that it's bubbling hydrogen on this side. And on this bubbler we have a flash port Keeps you nice and safe. Out of the bubbler, we go into, this is a, an, a dryer, and this has uh, uh, desiccant drying beads in it that will take the moisture out of the hydrogen. This also acts as a flash arrester, so we've, we've got a flash arrester inside of this. Um, these are, this is a real high flow, there's no resistance here. Um, out of that, comes out here, goes down into the purifier. Now this is a purifier, and this is based on the um, HCAT videos that we did. So this is purifying the uh, hydrogen, taking out any stray oxygen that's left. This will take that out. Um, you can, it's working because it's slightly warmer on this end. This is the input end and the output in, so it's pulling the oxygen out of the uh, hydrogen and turning it into heat. And then out of there we've got it going into a pressure gauge. Right now you can see I've got two PSI um, of hydrogen. The reason why there's two PSI is because out of that it goes into a, got it into going into a storage tank. Um, 
Before you, before you attempt to store any uh, hydrogen, you want to make sure that your tank has uh, no air in it, um, no oxygen at all. So when the hydrogen goes in, it's not mixing with oxygen that's already in the tank. So if you can get a hold of uh, an inert gas like a, a nitrogen and blow this tank out, make sure there's nothing in it. Uh, that would be that would be safe. Uh, I was going to compress it into this tank. I was going to come off my purifier into a smaller holding tank that I get up to about 2, two psi and this compressor would kick on and compress it into this tank so we can get up to about 100, 150 psi into this tank. But the compressor that I I bought uh, the in, the input to it was uh, is, goes right into the little crankcase there, and it was just vented off. It's unsealed, so it's pulling air from from everywhere. This one won't work, so I've got another one on order that that will work better for this, and um, I'll update you with that video when I get there. Now you can see that the water level is all the way up to the top, so I'm going to have to shut this down. I've got almost two and a half psi. I'll turn that off so we don't want the water coming down out of the tube on the oxygen side. You can see how low this side the pressure is on, or the water is on this side, and how high it is on the other side. I'll go ahead and turn off the tank there so we can seal our hydrogen in there and relieve the, the pressure on this side. You can see the water level will start to come back up. I'm going to attach my torch to this. See the torch there. And I'll go ahead and light the torch to show you the gas. Let me turn the light off here. That's lit with pure hydrogen. We know it is because when I turn it off, I get absolutely no flashback, nothing. Uh, the purifier does a great job with the gas. I'm sure you can see that. We need to get it. With this hydrogen flame, it's it's uh it's invisible until it comes in contact with oxygen, so it's hard to see. You can see it a little bit better when I put it up near something that's black, or even down here. There you go. You can see the flame there. Again, I'll cut it off. No flashback. And I'll show you that we have. The two PSI in the tank there. See that? So hopefully in the next video I'll have a better compressor and um, we'll go ahead and attempt to compress the pure hydrogen gas into this uh, tank and then uh, show you some uh, cool things we can use hydrogen for.
the goal is to get a system that we can use uh, off-grid uh, with uh, some, a solar array to power the uh, hydrogen generator and storage uh, so that you can store your uh, basically store power for um, times when the sun isn't shining like at night and you could turn around and use your stored hydrogen in a fuel cell to generate electricity instead of having a huge battery backup a big ba a bank of batteries and also uh, we could use the hydrogen for uh, heating um, instead of uh, using electric heat uh, on, a, on a solar array we use hydrogen for heating um, heating water, uh, heating a home um, and also for generating electricity so the goal here is to have a system that can hook up to a solar array and be able to store energy uh, in the form of hydrogen other than storing it in expensive batteries. So anyway, uh, that's an update on where we're at. Uh, thanks for watching.